And here we go again. It's probably my umpteenth attempt to do this. Let's see if OBS crashes. So this is meant to be a recording of my I'm a basic bitch build. Um, now some of my items here are definitely not basic bitch like Paris Prime and my Sonicore that has uh, freaking two forma in it but this is about as basic bitch as an MR26 can be expected to get. Now that having been said I will show you how to lay all of these out to do roughly the same damage. Now on my Excalibur here I am not using any primed mods same thing for Paris and for everything but my Zaw, honestly. So most of this you could actually easily pull off. In fact, I'll show you the build. So let, without any further ado, let's hit his four. Let's see what he can do. As you can see, we can carve these guys up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see the build, and then we'll turn up the enemy levels and see how crazy this can really get. Now, let's take a look at the Excalibur first. And as you can see, we don't have any Exilus adapters. There are no really expensive mods on here other than perhaps health conversion. Everything is stuff that a basic player can get with the exception of the arcanes. So let's go ahead and remove those. We're not really using them right now anyway. They don't really affect the damage. So here's the basic bitch build. Steel charge, health conversion. So if you get a health orb, your armor will stack up to three times for grand total of 450 per stack, which will add to your 472 armor with a maxed out steel fiber. Hunter Adrenaline will convert damage that you take into energy to fuel your four. Vigor will add to both your shield capacity and your health. Flow will up your energy max to 300 from the, you know what, base of 150. Wow, that's pathetic, isn't it? Intensify will give you a little more ability strength. And Chromatic Blade, this is what you're going to want to get. Uh, Exalted Blade's damage type changes depending on Excalibur's energy color and status chance is increased by 50%. So basically what this does is it changes your base status chance to 50% for your Exalted Blade. Now for whatever reason, uh, Simulcrum is usually bugged so the Exalted Blade won't show the true status chance like you would normally see it. But instead of it being 48%, it is in fact a grand total of 100% because of the mods that we have. So we have Pressure Point, Fever Strike, Reach, Virulent Scourge, Condition Overload. This is going to be the quote-unquote expensive mod, although I'm going to show you some easy ways of attempting to get that. Vicious Frost, Voltaic Strike is going to be a little difficult to get, but you can pick it up from Baro Kitir when he's in town. And of course, Drifting Contact. Uh, again, this one would appear to be difficult to get a hold of, but honestly, it's no more difficult than Condition Overload, and you can get it in the same fashion. I'm going to show you how in a little bit. <clears throat> so this is our I'm a Basic Bitch Excalibur build. It's not that hard to do. It's not that expensive to put together. Now, that having been said, again, at MR26, I've ditched most of my I'm a Basic Bitch weapons, uh, with a few exceptions. Um, the Sonicore... Now, obviously, mine, I have put two forma on it. Most people aren't going to be able to afford to do that. So out of these, uh, you can get away with Hornet Strike. Lethal Torrent is going to be a definite, and then that might give you room for a Barrel Diffusion. There's a reason why you're going to want that. Uh, for my Zaw, anybody can build this Zaw. And as you can see, the only primed mod I have on it is Primed Pressure Point, but... Even if we were being fair and we turn this into I'm a basic bitch and don't own any primed weapons. While you can see that the stats do decrease somewhat, I'm going to show you how crazy this can get. Blood Rush is not that hard to come by. Body Count is, is good, but honestly I'm starting to think that Drifting Contact would be much better because it's going to add to the status chance. Condition Overload, of course. 
Berserker, again, this is very easy to get, although uh, some may not think so. Voltaic Strike and Volcanic Edge. Now, the parts that are hard to come by for this Zaw are the fact that it's using the Plague Krippeth. The Plague Krippeth is a head that you can get during the um, Plague Star event. And it has innate viral damage. By building it out the way we have, we now have a three status inducing with 100% status chance build. So we can do heat damage, viral damage, and corrosive in addition to puncture impact and slash. Exodia Force, again, not that difficult to get. You can farm it from the Plains of Eidolon. Says at rank three, on status effect, 50% chance to deal 200% weapon damage to enemies within six meters. Again, none of this stuff is terribly difficult to come by, and it, with the only exception being the Plague Krippeth, um, all of it should be really, really easy for newer players to get. Paris Prime is one of the first primes that you get the chance to unlock. So, uh, as a newer player, getting a hold of a Paris Prime or a set of Paris Prime should not be that hard. As you can see, we have no Forma. We're just using Serration, Split Chamber, Piercing Caliber might seem like a pain in the neck, but you can pick, again, you can pick that up from Borrow Key Tier, uh, and it's not entirely necessary for the build. Point Strike, everybody has like 100 copies of that. Just using Point Strike, no Riven, that gets a critical chance up to 112.5, so you're going to crit every time. Malignant Force... Vital Sense and Rhyme Rounds. Now, if you're wondering where you're going to get Rhyme Rounds, you can get those from, wait for it, Spy Missions. That's right, just normal Spy Missions will get you a chance at getting Rhyme Rounds. So, now that we've seen my I'm a Basic Bitch build, let's see how badass this Basic Bitch really can be. Let's turn the enemy level up. We're going to be fair and turn it up to about 80, because that is that is the point where most people start getting wrecked now we're not going to give them the ability to come kick our asses just yet we'll do that in just a minute but let's take on this first line and see how that plays out as you can see the paris does some pretty good damage but it's not amazing now we're going to whip out our, our i'm a basic bitch zaw and see what it does Wow, that's, that's pretty effective, wouldn't you say? Now let's take a look at our chromatic blade and see what that does. And what happens if we combine the two? This is where it gets really interesting. So we're going to take a couple of licks with this bad boy, switch over, and as you can see, we completely melt these guys. It only takes a few seconds. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but those guys are going to be standing still, letting me kick the shit out of them. What if you what if you turn them on? How long can I live? Let's find out. Now, obviously, the biggest downside is getting knocked off your feet. You want to try to avoid that as much as possible. But if you pay attention to my gauges, you'll notice that every time I take health damage, I get a little bit of life back. Yep. Knocking you down is going to get you killed every time. Without fail. It's just going to happen. But I'm a basic bitch, and I don't want to get knocked down. What do I do? Well, you have a couple of options. When Excalibur does his slide while he's in his four, he temporarily blinds the enemies in his power range. If you can do this before you get knocked down, you have a pretty good chance of taking him out. Unfortunately, if you can't, that's really going to leave you just the one option. And the one option is for you to unlock your Exilus here, your Exilus slot. And you're going to want a copy of Handspring. It's a cost of 9.
but it's completely worth it. So, what if we change out Handspring for Intensify? Let's see how long we last now. Well, look at that. We got knocked down and we're right back on our feet. Now, obviously, without Intensify, it takes a little longer to kill him. But it's still completely doable. Oh, look at that. We got a stack of armor. So let's see that in full. Whoop! I got knocked off the level. That's not cool. Jesus! Twice? Well, that's definitely going to contribute to my death. So that's, that is one thing that really just bugs the snot out of me about DE, is they spam knockdown. When in doubt, spam knockdown. That seems to be the DE way. As you can see, when you're not getting bounced off the level every three seconds, our survivability is much, much, much better. Not bad. Not bad for a basic bitch build. We did take some damage, and we did get our teeth kicked in a little bit, but we wrecked them. Once we weren't getting, you know, bounced off the level. So, there's your options. You can either go full out power with Intensify, or you can pop in Handspring, so you're recovery is much faster and again as long as you're not getting bounced off the level you got a pretty good survivability rate one last time just for good measure we'll pop a couple of those Jesus, that's a lot of knockdown. Oh, they killed me. You know what? Let's see how long we live with some... Give me some damage. Another thing that you can do that I didn't mention is you can hold the right key and block a lot of their shots. Now, if you're a seasoned player and you're looking at this, I'm a basic bitch build, you're probably thinking, well, that didn't do all that great. But think about this for a minute. There's no forma on this Warframe. We haven't unlocked our Exilus adapter slot, and we're not using any primed mods at all. Not one. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So, wait. What if we did something crazy like, I don't know, used a, an Excalibur that uh, has some primed mods and has a couple of Forma and has an Exilus adapter unlocked? You know what? That's a great question. Let's see what that looks like. So we're going to pop that copy of Rage off of there. Let's see here. Where's Handspring? We're going to put Handspring on there. We're going to find Rage. Eh, we'll put the 7 cost on there. We're going to put a couple of Arcanes on here. Like Arcane Guardian, for example. And you know what? We'll pop a copy of Arcane Avenger on there. And now this will get pretty crazy. 
Now we'll upgrade the exalted blade. Oh no, pressure point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll pop primed pressure point on there. We'll put primed reach on. Oh, we can't afford primed reach. Oh, sad me. Uh, can we afford primed fever strike? Yes, we can. <clears throat> now, let's see how much a not quite basic bitch Warframe can do. Oh, wow, look at that. Even with a somewhat advanced basic bitch layout, I still wrecked level 80s like they were children. So, yeah. Excalibur can be really stupidly, unbelievably powerful if you know how to build him out. And even some of the deadliest enemies in the game are absolutely no match for him at all if you build him right and if you build him right and you get crazy No, did I kill everybody? Did I kill everybody and not die? That's kind of nuts, right? Oh no, I didn't kill everybody. Let's fix that right now. Is it crazy yet? Have we gone crazy yet? Is it nuts? Yes. Yes, it is. There you go. So, one last time. Here's the build. For everybody that's, you know, I'm just starting the game. I don't have a lot of shit. You'll notice that the one thing that you absolutely positively need to do is you need to install an orc and reactor. Again, those are not that hard to get a hold of. You can do any one of the community events. I think they're like 20 plat. And you, and uh, if you're just starting out the game, you should have about 125 plat that you can spend uh, that uh, will put quotes around this gift from DE. What it is, is it's to whet your appetite for the premium currency so you can do more cool shit, but um, it's worth the expense just to get you up to this point so that when you max rank your Excalibur you can put on all these really cool, really inexpensive mods and take your Excalibur from something that's, oh dear god, I don't know if I'm going to live through this to, yeah, watch this kids. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, like it. If you didn't, don't like it. Uh, whatever you do, do me a favor. Subscribe. Link this to your friends, especially if they're interested in playing Warframe or if they're just getting started out. Uh, it's a really fun game, 
And for people at my level, the most fun you can have, honestly, is helping other people get to your level. All right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you have a happy new year. See you later.